Alright, so we're back with the only game where everyone enjoys smoking a giant log of road chalk. It's Hobo Tough Life. In the last episode, we got a job, which I felt pretty good about. But today we have to help, I think we have to help our boy with his pawn shop or something. I, I guess apparently we still have to figure out why our head hurts. I think this is like your main quest. I don't even know what to call this. It's Hobo Tough Life, all right? I, I keep trying to relate it to real RPG Skyrim level scenarios, but we got to talk to Shurg because our head hurts. This, this is the imperative nature of the quests we deal with. We'll do this first and then we'll deal with the market research. Oh, I'm also tired as hell. I should probably get some sleep. These shops are open 24 hours a day? Poor bastards. I'm realizing our homeless guy is like incredibly resistant to the cold right now. I think it's because of our fantastic wardrobe that we managed to buy from the charity. We got new clothes. We're looking freaking dapper. Let's not kid ourselves. The pants that we're wearing probably came off of another dead hobo. Achievement unlocked. I don't know what this is. It's some sort of buff. I, I, I'm not really sure what it does, but we got it. We're freezing. Oh, we received confidence. Now, whenever you're freezing to death, you always want to try and find a nice alleyway because typically that's where you'll find some barrels that you can burn garbage in. Alleyway, garbage barrel. Hobos are like super resistant to starvation. I don't think I've eaten in a day, like a full day. And I'm not dead from starvation yet. I'm just kind of hungry. Like it's just suggesting slightly, hey, you should probably do something about that. Dumpster diving. Need a couple of food pieces. Because we're an expert dumpster diver now, or at least somewhat competent at it, we get uh, two indicators that our fingers may be going into used needles. We'll visit the quest giver in a second. I'm kind of hungry, so I needed to make something delicious out of a bunch of scrapped pizza slices. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like a slice of bread and cat entrails in a Tupperware container. Ooh. But, uh, I don't know, it's made with love, I guess. I'm eating it. God, it's dark as hell out here. What is this dude at? Is he like inside of a house or something? Not gonna lie, I feel like I'm going into gangland territory over here, but ah, found him. <laughs> Got a crafting station. <laughs> Only difference is, instead of being a place where you make incredible swords and armor, it's a place where you mess with paint cans. Is that a baby bottle? I feel like this dude's supposed to be here, but it's probably too late. It oh God, he's not dead, is he? Oh no, he's just sleeping. Hi, buddy. Hey, Shrug. Didn't it call him Shurg before? We got to talk to Shurg. Whatever. Did any parties take place? How should I know? Have you tried asking the master? How did we get so off topic? I think this city is cursed. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see next year if we even live that long. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, oh, I can't even click on this. Yeah, I guess we'll just be really, really depressed in our talk. Oh, damn. This dude will buy my old pants and stuff. For a biker helmet. <laughs> okay. Sweatshirt. The most comfortable attire of all time. Sure. I finally got my last plastic bag. Now I can hold even more stuff. I can build something called a private dump. I'm kind of curious exactly what the hell this does. I don't know what it does, but I just made it. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Let me tell you something. Oh, never mind. Excuse me, ma'am. I'd like to talk to you about the pawn shop. Jesus, everyone's so unpersonable. There we go. Now we're getting there. Oh, God, here you go. He just gave us money just for, I mean, is it, is that it? Or is that all we were supposed to do? I'm not gonna lie. That was, that was the easiest money I've ever made in this game. I really don't mind working for this guy. Just the name of his pawn shop alone shakes people down for money. Oh, I may have just gotten another job cleaning purification tanks from shit. <laughs> I might stop by, I guess. So, uh, what gang is this a part of? All right, we've reached the hobo master. I need to talk to him about the head hurting or whatever it is. Okay, the master wants a draft beer and I want some garbage. Oh, spit. No, I'm not even dealing with that. So have you heard about the pawn shop? Guess not. Binding wire. Is that like a craftable item or is that a thing that I utilize to tie up people? I'm not going to lie. Just that name is somewhat ominous. This little area over here is one of my favorite places to dumpster dive. There's always a ton of stuff. Look at all the super glue and everything. Fantastic. Interesting paper. It's really interesting. That was the tooltip. Oh, I found an energy drink. Source of infinite energy until you get poisoned. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Hanukkah. I need a draft beer. Never mind. Let me try that again. A draft beer, please. So I just realized something. Uh, I actually drank the first beer. 
Wasn't a bad idea though. Got a morale up. Hey, Hobo Master, I got your beer. Freaking alcoholic. Guzzlers at the train station regularly hold these rituals where they try to drink themselves to death. Not everyone is successful though. They call it the last boozing. <laughs> oh, Stephen King would be proud. Thanks for the beer. 24 coins. It's been a while since I've gotten anything good out of a uh, out of a coin slot, so I feel pretty good about that. Are these yoga pants? Are you smoking the giant like road sign style cigarettes that they have over here in Praslev wearing yoga pants? Private dump. What do you do? Oh. It's it. It just hangs out there. Can I do anything with it? I don't think so. I think it just looks cool. Oh man. I just got market research done and now it's freaking storming like a son of a bitch outside. There's thunder and everything. Whenever you're caught out in the rain, it's a fantastic time to roll up some smokes. Boom. Hey, I told everyone about your pawn shop. You're welcome. Nighttime is the right time for sleeping on a bunch of cardboard. In this game, drinking expensive liquor increases your character's parameters. <laughs> hey, have you heard? What? That's why I have a huge mansion and an expensive care. All my deals came through just fine. Great. Have you heard about the pawn shop? I'm a bankrupt millionaire. If this works, I'll be amazed. Helping me to get the necessary resources for today's baguette. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> so, um, I clicked on a uh, snack bar uh, thinking that they were open 24 hours a day. They weren't. I'm in jail now. I didn't even, I didn't even successfully get into it. I just looked at it the wrong way and I got arrested. What the hell, Praslav? Place has something against the homeless people. By the way, did a leaf just like flutter in through the ceiling? I could have sworn I just saw something flutter inside here. This jail isn't built as well as I would have hoped. Great. My morale sucks now. Am I still allowed to smoke cigarettes in here? Oh, I totally am. This jail is amazing. Oh, I finally found someone that knows about the pawn shop. Yeah, Anatoly's junk shop. He was making a killing under the commies. <laughs> Because you couldn't get anything, but he always had stuff. Too bad. It's a pity he closed down. You guys all realize that the shop is open, right? <laughs> I guess he didn't realize it. Yeah, okay, good. Fantastic. How about them railway massacres? They're still eating the homeless people. I couldn't believe it. There are videos on YouTube. <laughs> there sure are. You can steal toilet paper? Got it. <gasps> 40 more coins from inside the thing. Oh, I love checking these. Witcha! I just asked this guy if there's anything else I should do to help him in his quest. This was the answer. <laughs> don't mind me. Just stealing some junk out of this back alley here. I don't know whose this is, but they got a lot of lock stuff and I got a lot of lock picks. Thief level two. What does it all mean? Antibiotics. Strong caliber medicine. Destroys tonsillitis? Oh, there's our Babis. I saw the uh, comments about this. I, so this poor guy became a meme so powerful he's even in hobo tough life. I have to dig ditches. That's that's my new job. I don't, what do you do? Do I just go down into the ditch? Just jump on in, dig in my own grave. Okay, this, this seems a little bit unsafe, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the purposes of gaming play. Oh, yeah. You legitimately just swing a pickaxe over and over again. This bench over here is probably my favorite bench to sleep at. It keeps you warm keeps the rain off you. There's a snack bar nearby and a tobacco place to buy packs of cigarettes and even the toilet. Oh, it's friggin' thief time. We're getting pretty good at being a thief too. Man, look at this hobo shack. I want something like this. Can you get down in here? It's, oh, there's a guy in Nugget. <laughs> I just bought five pieces of styrofoam off that nut bar. I mean, I guess he's good for something. I'm really curious what I get once I'm done beating the living crap out of these pipes, because this is really friggin' tiring. My morale is broken, but I just found 40 coins inside of a coin dispenser. I feel much better now. There's one way to deal with really, really bad morale. Alcoholism. Oh, you know what? I don't have to turn to alcoholism. We could buy some play guy. <laughs> I've got to do it. I need to know what happens when I utilize this. Here we go. Uh. Faith level three, holy hell. Okay, I think we've done enough today. That's gonna be it for this episode of Hobo Tough Life, where we finally helped the pawn shop from going under. Anyway, folks, till the next time, stay foxy a bunch of love. <laughs>